Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Slam Motion. So guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss The Office had its music budget pulled after Michael Scott made this dumb joke. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end. Comment right below this video. Subscribe if you still haven't. And turn on the post notification for more videos. Michael Scott's dumb joke ended up costing The Office $60,000. The Office is renowned for its brilliant blend of comedy and satire, capturing the absurdities and intricacies of office life with uncanny precision. Through its relatable storylines and goofy characters, the show has managed to transcend mere sitcom status, becoming a cultural phenomenon in its own right. However, the journey to becoming a cultural touchstone wasn't exactly a bargain. Often, NBC had to fork over a ton of cash to actualize some of the show's most iconic moments. For instance, Jim's iconic proposal to Pam, delivered in a little under a minute, ended up costing the show a whopping $250,000. However, at some points, the show ended up bleeding money for far less iconic moments. This was the case in Season 3's A Benihana Christmas episode, in which Michael Scott made an ill-thought-out joke that ended up costing $60,000 in licensing fees. I wrote a joke where Michael says, I got two tickets to paradise, and he says, Pack your bags, we leave the day after tomorrow. Jen Salata, the writer behind the ill-fated joke, shared on an episode of Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey's Office Ladies podcast. At the sound mix, I found out from producer Ken Spornak that was his $60,000 joke. I was like, it's a fine joke, but none of my jokes I've ever written have been $60,000 jokes. The Office had its music budget pulled after making a $60,000 joke. They know that hefty $60,000 bill they hadn't expected. The office's production team went into damage control mode, slashing the show's music budget dramatically to cover the loss. I remember not so long after that we had some of our music budgets pulled away from us, Jen Salata revealed on Kinsey and Fisher's Office Ladies podcast, and I can't help but think. I had no idea that because we sang that song, the song had to be cleared, and that joke was $60,000. As it turns out, Michael Scott unwittingly reciting Eddie Money's two tickets to Paradise almost word for word wasn't the only licensing nightmare the production team had to go through before releasing season three's of Benihana Christmas. The episode also featured Michael and Andy performing a hilarious rendition of John Mayer's Your Body is a Wonderland for their dates. However, before the episode could air, the show's production team realized that they'd yet to obtain proper clearance for the song. B.J. Novak, who in addition to portraying Ryan Howard, served as a writer and executive producer on the show, would later recall the mishap in a 2022 interview with Variety. We had accidentally put a John Mayer song in the background of an Office Christmas episode, without thinking about it, he said. It was tied to the scene because it wasn't a separate audio track, and we couldn't clear it. John Mayer's Your Body is a Wonderland ended up costing the office a lot less than $60,000. Unable to clear the iconic song through conventional means, the office's production team turned to Novak, who happened to be friends with Bob Saget, one of John Mayer's close friends. I called Bob, and I said, I know you're friends with John Mayer. Can I call him? And I did. Novak revealed to Variety in his 2022 interview. John said, Look, I'm a serious Office fan. He gave me all these references and said, So I know what you're doing. Let me guess, it's Michael Scott's favorite song. I said, No, no, I promise. It's just in the background of a karaoke party. Worry of his song being used as a punchline in the kind of goofy shenanigans the office was known for, John Mayer initially declined the request. Well, look, I get it. Angela Kinsey said of Mayer's initial reaction on an Office Ladies podcast episode. Andy and Michael are being total idiots in this episode. And so do you want your song to be the song the two idiots picked? However, the Grammy-winning singer eventually acquiesced, albeit with a very unusual stipulation. Thankfully, Mayer's demand was a lot easier to fulfill than cutting a $60,000 check. True to their word, the office's production team bestowed on Mayer, a tallest music dude, Dundee, shortly thereafter. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can, that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.